Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to see how we can create and deploy an Azure OpenAI services. Once we deployed resources, then we will go to OpenAI Studio and deploy GPT-4 to Mini and then see how chat works. For this, we are into Azure portal. And if you see my screen, Azure OpenAI has been listed here. But it comes because if we have used these services, that's how it is being populated. We can go for create resources. And we can search for Azure OpenAI. Once we go for OpenAI page, then we can read about product information. And also we can go and click on create. Now we can select existing resource group or we can create a new. So I am going to create a new. Depending upon your naming convention, you can put that one. And depending upon which region you want, you can create that. I'm going to keep East US. And the name you can put over, over there. I'm going to put software here and pricing tier. Previously, this services was available only for a subset of users and you need to fill a form to create this resources. Now this is open for all. Here you are going to specify which kind of network setting if you wanted to use this by a public internet or you want to control that setting also. And then you can put different tags based on your organization requirement or how you want to maintain that one. Once the validation is succeeded, then we can go ahead and click on create. It will take some time. Once resource has been deployed, we can click on go to resources. Once we come to overview pane, we can see different settings are and different Endpoints are given if you wanted to call with API and other things that endpoint we can grab, key we can grab and call by API. And there is another way if you wanted to manage into portal, then we can go for Azure OpenAI Studio. There are a few more settings which we can see here, like resource management, key endpoint, and other things that we will see later. Let's go to Azure OpenAI Studio first. So now Azure OpenAI is going to get a new look soon, but let's go to existing look. So and this is the existing look where we can go and deploy that our models, whatever we wanted to use. And for that, if we go into deployment section, there is no new model has been deployed right now. We can go for model section and then see whatever existing model is provided by Azure. We'll list here depending upon what region we have selected. It might be possible that there are some model which is launched into a different region, uh, which, which is not available into East US region. So depending upon that, we can see. So latest was, I guess, GPT-4 Pro Mini was there. And, and based on model name and other things, we can see that when it was created inside Azure and other things. So if we go into see, this seems that GPT-4 O Mini is the latest one. And we can, if depending upon our need, we can go for GPT-4 and other things. So let's create GPT-4 O Mini. So I'm going to deploy that one. And it is going to ask deployment name. So whatever name we wanted to put, which and uh, depending upon models, we can select different model from here also, but we wanted to create deployment type, uh, whatever standard is there and token limit. The main part is token, how much token we wanted to use. We can configure later also this part. So I'm going to keep that one and content filtering, what type of content filtering you want to have. You can create your content filter also so that if you wanted to block any particular words or any filtering you want to, you can do that one. So let's see right now by creating this. So right now, if you see, we are going to deploy this one and it is deployed now. Now in deployment section, we can go and see this option. We can see a lot of options are there. We can use 
playground so that we can try to use the GPT 4o or we can use chat playground we have options to create assistant we have options to bring your own data and play and then completion then play with Dali model so we will see one by one so today let's go to chat option and let's query the basic chat and then in next video we will do rest of the things right now if we wanted to chat without any adding any your data and we will see this option how to add your data later and if you see right side deployment option is selected if you have multiple deployment you can select what deployment you wanted to use and different parameters also and we need to tweak that one depending upon which kind of result is coming and what we are expecting we will go in different parameters later but basically if we i wanted to go and say anything and ask anything then we can ask let me see that i'm going to put high then standard options came I can ask whatever question is there. So now it is asking for quota increase or we have to wait. So we can increase quota because we have set the limit less limit. So let's go and increase that limit. So I'm going to edit the deployment and I'm going to say that, hey, let's go for a little bit more on that piece because my subscription is limited for that option. So I cannot go for more. Let's see that. Now I can go and ask the same question. Let's see if it applies. Let me refresh this page. And let me ask again. So now it is giving an option of how to create that Azure AI. So this is basic if you wanted to select different template for chat and other things we can do that one. but we will go slowly about this options and other things. This is how we can create Azure Open AI resources. We can go to Azure Open AI Studio and then deploy any models and use that one inside this portal itself. If you wanted to do a lot of different things like building chat boss and other things with your own UI and other things that can be done by api and we will see slowly in this video series that how to do that one in next video we are going to see how we can add our own data and ask question about that one thank you for watching if you like this video please share and comment and share with your friends also thank you